We explain the Music Education Initiative, Sing Human Rights, and its project, 70 Years, 70 Choirs. Every human being has the right to life, the right to freedom of speech, and the right to privacy. These and many more are everyone's human rights. A total of 30 of them are written in one of the fundamental documents of humankind, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, or UDHR for short. This is John. He loves human rights, and he loves music. He can always be found singing or whistling along to a melody, and once a week he sings in a choir. One day, John has an idea. What if he could sing human rights and combine his passions? That way he could share those passions with his fellow singers and their audience. At singhumanrights.org, John finds free sheet music and MP3s of musical versions of the UDHR, the original wording of the articles of the Declaration set to catchy tunes. While listening to the songs, John realizes that human rights are more memorable with the help of melodies. Since John sings in a large choir that performs major choral works accompanied by a symphony orchestra, he clicks on 70 Years, 70 Choirs, a project aimed at large ensembles like his. In 2018, the UDHR is celebrating its 70th anniversary. On this occasion, 70 choirs will sing the complete Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 70 concerts. John wants his choir to participate in the project, so he prints out the one-page information sheet in his language and hands it to his choir director at the next rehearsal. He also emails the website link to his fellow singers and to Carol, a songwriter. John thinks that Carol might be inspired by the idea of setting human rights to music. John's choir decides to participate and receives the latest parts of the composition regularly and exclusively. In 2018, his choir director travels to Berlin to meet the composer and the other 69 participating conductors, and together they premiere the work. John uses 70 years, 70 choirs as an opportunity to travel and to join other participating choirs in their performances. Meanwhile, singers from other participating choirs visit John's choir and join in their performances. This way, the project fosters international understanding. Carol listens to John's choir's performance of the UDHR and decides to set human rights to music herself in her native language. Eventually, her compositions reach many choirs in the world because she publishes them under a free license at singhumanrights.org. Participate in 70 Years, 70 Choirs with your choir to celebrate the anniversary of the UDHR and sing our human rights.